is going to be a circle uh, of blue, and we'll just say blue on that. You can write blue, color blue, whatever. Uh, red, I don't have a red highlighter, so I'm going to use a pink one for the red. And then green. And I do happen to have a green highlighter. Okay. Now, in the first statement, the first bulleted statement, I am told that he used 84 green pieces of plastic. So, since I know the number of pieces of green that are being used. I went ahead and placed that number in the last circle. Now using that information I'm going to go ahead and read the second statement and try to make sense of it. The key here is not to memorize some step uh, because they may change the way the question is worded on a future assessment. We want the students to really pause and grasp the meaning of the statement uh, just like they would if they were having a conversation in the real world, we want them to grasp the language, the meaning of the statement. And if necessary, to rewrite that statement in words that are more are, are easier for them to, to grasp. So we're going to do that here. It says he used 20 more pieces of pl uh, green pieces of plastic than blue. So 20 more green pieces of plastic than blue. Okay, the short way to say that and leave out all the numbers is there is more green than there is blue. So we're going to say more green, less blue. More green, that's kind of shorthand for that statement. There's more green pieces and less blue pieces. And the difference is 20 because there's 20 more green pieces of plastic than blue pieces of plastic. So what I need to do is look at the number here. I have an 84. There needs to be more green and less blue. So I need to put a number inside this circle, and the number I need to put is 64 because 64 is 20 fewer. So there's more green, less blue, and there's a 20 difference there. 20 more pieces of green plastic than blue pieces of plastic. All right, we're going to use that same strategy again with the next statement. He used 15 more red pieces of plastic. More red pieces of plastic than blue pieces of plastic. So more red, less blue. So I'm going to make a little statement that's just kind of shorthand leaving out a lot of the other words, so there's less words here. More red, less blue. Now some students may say there's no less in that sentence. I don't see any less. That less is written because it helps us make sense of this. Students reading this statement, he used 15 more red pieces of plastic than blue pieces should know that means two things. It means there's more red and that there's less blue than red. There's more red than blue and less blue than red. That is, that's just making sense of that statement. All right, let's take a look at the circles now. We need to have more red and less blue. So whatever the number is inside the red circle needs to be bigger than the number inside the blue circle. How much more? Well, right here, 15 more. So this number needs to be 15 more. Well, let's see. If I add 15 more, that means I'm going to add a 10 to the 60, make it at a 70, and I'm going to add a 5 to the 1 and make it a 9. So I should have a 79 here. So according to this, this is the total number of pieces of plastic I've got. Now, most the most common wrong answer to this question was answer choice D. The right answer was the most common answer, but the most common wrong answer was D, and you'll notice that 119 is just the sum of the three, uh, the sum of these three numbers up here. I'm guessing the, per the students didn't even really read the words in the statement at all. 
they weren't even attempting to make sense of it. They were just adding these three numbers up. Uh, but let's go ahead and answer the question, though, and I do want to use highlighters. What is the number of red pieces of plastic that Alex used? And that answer is answer choice A.